the bottom line, it didn't do anything. Um, actually, it did exactly the same thing it was doing with the other fly. So, we're going to try something else now. Uh, I do not have a working oscilloscope. And there are waveforms here on the schematic. Okay. So I'm going to try to revive this scope here. I bought that at a ham fest a couple months ago. And it gets a trace, but it doesn't um, process the signal. There's 20 tubes in here. And I'll move the camera so you can see it better. Um, I have no idea what's wrong with it. I'm just going and testing resistors because I know I know there were a couple that were off. You could see it. They were uh, starting to um, cook, looks like. So I'm checking everything I can. Marking some. I came up with eight already that are out of tolerance. So, um, I'm going to have some fun with that. It's going to take a while. Hopefully I can at least get that working. No, I haven't had much luck with things that involve pictures. So let me switch cameras so I can let you take a look at this thing. It's a military grade. Um, I think it was made in 56. And it's got military stand tubes in it. It says OS34 USM32. And it's got a little serial number of 152. So I don't think that's too important. So. Right, here's the front end. It appears to be small. Okay, it came with a cover and a bunch of probes and stuff. Now here's the top. Okay. You can see two tubes in the corner there. Another one next to that pot. Okay, and if you look down here. Pretty much all you see that too. Left side panel. There's a number of resistors here with a little red dot on them. Those are the ones that got to be replaced. And you can see by the capacitors here. More specifically, that row there, there's like four of them. Okay. Now, the right side. Oh, nice and neat there. the tubes and stuff. There's the back. I fail to understand, I'm sure there's a good reason though. Why are there two rectifier tubes? There's two 6x4s there. I've seen that before too. I had a kit scope a while back. 
Uh, it didn't work either. Um, there's two 6x4s here though, for some reason. And there's also a number of neons, actual neon bulbs. You can see one right here. That's one of several. And there's another two over here. Right in, right in here you can see them. Back to back. So I'm going to try to fix this first and then we'll get back to the TV. Here's an inside view of the scope. And I assume this is how you change the tubes. This whole side panel lifts up. the other panel. Uh, before I shut the camera though, I have to show you my new shirt because 